there's a, a an Olympic diving coach um, named Jeff Huber who often told his athletes that he had two goals for them. One goal was to help them learn how to dive better. The other goal was to help them learn how to dive better in competition. And that there's obvious overlap between those two goals, but they're unique challenges that require different methods of preparation to excel in each of those areas. So for me, that was pretty transformative. Uh, understanding that difference between the fact that there are ways of practicing that maximize skill development, and then there are ways of practicing that are essential for the ability to demonstrate those skills, especially under pressure when you only have one opportunity to play something or to perform a skill. There are certainly a number of elements to that second challenge, whether it's building confidence and becoming more resilient and being able to manage nerves and, and so forth. But Increasingly over time, the single skill that I think seems to be so essential for the ability to get into the zone and get into that state of flow that we've hopefully all experienced in some form or another in some area of our lives is focus. The ability to know exactly what is most helpful to think about at any given point in time and to be able to stay completely immersed and engaged with just that thing or those things in the moment for as long as we need to. That has been fun for me to explore with musicians because I think a lot of times for musicians, they've all had the experience of being in a state of flow and being in the zone, but it's often not clear to us how we got there and what we're doing when we're in that sort of state. It's usually because especially once we realize we're totally in the zone, we get shoved out of the zone and then it's hard to know how to get back there. <laughs> 